Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the lab. I hope you are all doing well and uh, staying safe out there. So here is my Creality glass bed for my 3D printer. And uh, today I'm going to install it. I will also walk you guys through some of the upgrades I did because I did things a little bit differently than uh, most people do, I think. And um, yeah, maybe uh, you guys find the uh, little things that I did on there useful and I can use it yourselves. I don't know, we'll see. So here we have the bed in all of its glory. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off the magnetic build plate. Um, and then, I wonder, I think we can just pull this off. Maybe it would help if I uh, heat the bed up a little bit. Let's turn it on. Here's our bed value. I can feel it warming up. So we're at 41. I'm going to start pulling this off. There we go. All we got to do now is put the glass on. Now I've got these little clips here from Staples. Uh, I was a little bit worried that they were going to be a little bit small at first, but uh, as you can see, they clip on just right. Bam! Look at that. Huh? Took three long painstaking days, but I have the printer troubleshooted completely. I did the uh, the rewire of that fan there so that it runs on the uh, power supply itself rather than the power supply's fan so that it's always on. As you can see, as soon as I hit my switch, it powers on. And it's like, you can hear it, but it's not that loud. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a very manageable level, we'll put it that way. The uh, motherboard's fan underneath underneath here that I haven't actually replaced yet is louder still, but I'll get to that one eventually, probably. Here we have our first print with um, the glass bed successful. You might be able to tell here the bed is a lot smoother now than it was before, and that is because the textured surface is actually on the bottom. It's facing down into the, uh, the heated plate because I couldn't for the life of me get this thing to stick. I just couldn't do it. Um, I washed it with soap, um, rubbing alcohol, Lysol wipes, virtually anything, and I tried somewhere between 10 and 15 different prints to see if I could get something to work, and it just it just didn't happen. I uh, decided to flip it over, give that a try, and um, it works perfectly. Like I flipped it over, washed it once, and that's it. It's it's brilliant. I'm gonna grab my list uh, so I can knock off those points and uh, make sure I cover everything I wanted to cover for you guys. And then uh, we'll go ahead and do some test prints with this thing, which I think is only fair at this point. I have got my list. Um, first off, what I wanna talk about is my BL Touch. This guy right here, if you would focus. As it touches the bed, it triggers. And uh, basically this thing just acts as my Z probe, which probes different areas of the bed right before I print to make sure that the uh, the program knows exactly the level of my bed so it, it, it can it can account for any dips and bumps and um, basically this thing has an offset so when the thing is deployed it hangs just a little bit below here I'll show you guys as you can see the probe uh, the tip of the probe hangs a little bit lower than uh, my extruder and so basically when it zeroes the probe's zero is going to be a little bit lower than the nozzle itself. So you have to account for that inside the programming by going into uh, bed leveling, probe Z offset, and then setting that value. In my case, it is negative 1.4. So the way I set my Z probe offset was simply to start printing. And because my offset was at zero, it would start printing significantly above the build plate and I would go into the uh, the control setting and adjust my Z-probe offset while the thing is printing to get it dialed in just right. Next off, um, I want to talk about my Nocto fans. I have the one in the front here, my extruder fan. 
Um, and the power supply fan, as I already said, I wired this power supply fan into the uh, the main output rather than the uh, the fan output because the fan output was inconsistent and it would start and then stop and then start and stop. So basically, I just have this thing blowing constantly. I used a buck converter to step down my 24 volt output from the power supply to a steady 4.9 or whatever it ended up being uh, straight to the fan. This guy is a little bit more difficult. I ended up uh, drilling the back of the old mounts for the fan and I just have it straight on top of the old metal casing because at the time my printer was not yet up and running and so I couldn't print a proper housing and it's just kind of stayed there because I mean it works pretty simple you just take a bit that's just the right size drill through call it good no problem the the brain of this thing is an upgraded motherboard uh, 4.27 4.2.7 driver I don't know if that's the right term to call it but uh, it's, it's one of those silent motherboards that basically has silent steppers so that when I uh, go and just auto home this as you can hear this thing is dead silent well compared to the original anyways another thing is my direct drive extruder this guy here um, very useful basically I got the all-metal um, extruder and the direct drive extruder kit so that when I was building my my printer I got all of it mounted right from the start so uh, it's been very nice and uh, very consistent I think that's probably the best way to put it very consistent so I think that concludes all the upgrades um, I'm sure there'll be more as time goes on and uh, when I get those we can throw them on the printer together if you have any specific questions about the printer itself, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you and to make sure I get those questions answered because uh, I'm sure I forgot some stuff. But I think that's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it helps out the channel and uh, helps us grow. And if you want to see more of this, stay tuned for the next video. I've got some cool prints planned ahead. I hope you guys take care and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.